Good afternoon and welcome to City Hydro Parsley Grow Along Day Number One. I got my hydro spacers here in my tray. I'm going to give it some hydrogen peroxide spray to make sure that the tray is nice and clean. Everything looks great. No dirt inside there, no foaming action. I'm going to adjust this one a little bit more towards the back and bring this one up a little bit. Okay. Now, parsley is a little bit different of a microgreen. A lot of people say it doesn't grow on coconut fiber, but let me assure you it does. So let me bring it down here to their seeding pads. Now, it's about a 70 milliliters of seeds for four pads. Okay, it's a really light seed. Um, it's, it has an amazing flavor. It's a very, very slow germinator. So it's about seven days on germination, give or take and then it's under the lights but once it gets under the lights it's, it's very quick it's like a three four days under the lights so it's still a, a, a pretty normal microgreen on growing it and again we only grow the microgreens to the first two leaves we don't grow it to that third leaf so we don't want that fan shaped leaf on our parsley I mean if the if the chef wants that fan leaf on his microgreens he can go buy them from a produce company or someplace else and pay a lot cheaper for his parsley. So I'm going to put the seeds here on my pads. So it's a pretty thick density and I'll give you a close-up of here how it looks. It's kind of hard to see because the seeds kind of look like the coconut fiber in the same color here but I'm spreading them around Yeah, I, I have a lot of chefs that really like the parsley on, on a fettuccine dish or on a pasta dish. They're just amazing. Even on a fish dish, you know, a nice bunch of what we like to call a haystack of microgreens mixed in with some parsley just tastes amazing. A little bit. And again, that's about a 70 milliliters of seeds. So I'm going to zoom in and, and show you what it looks like here. Just camera over. So you can see how dense it's seeded there. It's kind of hard to see because of the, the color of the seeds. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer for you. Yeah, it kind of went out of focus that close. So I'll bring it back out a little bit slowly. There we go. Now you can see it. Okay. Never have any issues really with overseeding on parsley or any um, mold issues with parsley. Uh, some of the seed companies out there were telling people that, you know, it doesn't grow, parsley won't grow on coconut fiber, but I assure you it grows nicely on coconut fiber. So now I'm going to put the, the pads in my tray here of water. And again, this is crucial right we're, we're soaking those seeds getting them nice and moist getting the the ground or the coconut fiber nice and moist for the seeds to adhere to okay I'm going to dump off the extra seeds here into my cup so you can see getting back the little couple extra seeds out of there I'm going to set this over to the side because I need to add a little bit more water uh, to the tray here. There just wasn't quite enough water in the tray. So I'm going to lift up the corner here. Don't want to add that water too quick. Don't want those seeds to wash away. So, added that. Now I'm going to bring my tray back over. I'm going to do four more pads now. I'd like to thank everybody for their amazing support. Uh, the feedback and every time these grow alongs is amazing. So, four more pads. And the one thing you get, you know, never give up. Y you see a tray isn't germinating properly it's kind of slow like cilantro or bull's blood don't give up 
It's coming. It's going to get there. It's very rarely that a seed company is selling seeds that have zero germination rate or have a 10% germination rate. It just needs a little TLC and it'll be all good. Okay, spreading them around a little bit. Going to get this last pad up here. There we go. Nicely covered. And, and you can actually feel when you're running your hand over it, the seeds. Making sure if you can't see them too good, you're getting up there in the ages. And so, probably should be wearing reading glasses when I'm seeding now. Okay, okay there we go. Nice. So now I'm going to move the pads from the soaking tray into the green tray. So it's all about processes, right? You follow the, the simple steps and your microgreens turn out. If you, if you don't follow the simple steps and you have issues, well that's why, because you didn't follow the, the steps. We try to make it simple. We try to make all the microgreens pretty much simple steps all the same way. Granted, there's a couple different caveats, different caveats between each microgreen maybe. But all in general, it's pretty much the same process. Seeding, soaking, tray, germination, vegetative state, client. So now I'm going to put a little more water in the tray here. I'm going to put my pads in here to soak up this water. Soaking it up nicely. Slide it over here. Going to need to add a little bit more water again. So it's always better to add a little bit more water than to put too much water in there and have your seeds float away. That's nice. So that way that's soaking. I'm gonna make up my label. And this is micro parsley. And today's date. The seeds came from Mountain Valley, so it's an MVS for us. And these microgreens are going to a great restaurant called Tagaletti down there in Harbor East. Chef Julian there is amazing. He used to be at another restaurant, but he's over at Tagaletti now and he is knocking it out of the park. It's a really nice Italian restaurant. Um, love going there. So, put my label on the thing. Put my pads in the tray. Now I like to do one take of these videos, right? So you're seeing the way it is. You're seeing the mistakes I make, the issues I might have while I'm doing the seeding. So as, you know, if you have those very same issues, you know how to fix it. This is real life. I'm not doing four or five takes. It's a one take deal. And so you're seeing it as I see it. So I got the pads in there. Which I, I like much better. I, 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 we were editing stuff before on some things, you know, that weren't so mission critical as this. But I, I think this doing it real life in real time is, is much, much better. Um, gives you a, a much better appreciation, appreciation for what we're doing. Okay, again, so now the hydrogen peroxide. Sanitize those seeds. Now the 32nd, Earl Shrive paint job. Back and forth, back and forth. Somebody was commenting about, hey, you hit that 30 seconds pretty good. There's a clock up in front of me. I watched that clock. I don't always get the 30 seconds. I might get a little bit over 30 seconds. It's always much better to go over the 30 seconds than under the 30 seconds. It's up and down. And again, we're going to water this parsley again this afternoon when we do our watering 
it's crucial to make these seeds nice and moist because you want that great germination rate and you're not going to get it if they're dried out if you're missing spots it's the same way if you're doing your watering up on the rack you're not getting the every angle because you're sticking that wand up on the rack and you're not getting back in here and you're not getting the full uh, coverage that you should be in the tray so you want to make sure that you pull that tray down and you do your watering down on the table and again it's 10 seconds on the lid cover it get a nice covering here a nice pristine covering so now you can see that's microgreen parsley day one I'd like to thank everybody for their support I'm going to put this up on the germination rack and everybody happy growing and have a great day thank you so much